Facebook friends, it's Char. And wanted to speak a little bit right now about cheerleading. Uh, my youngest daughter, Riley, she is uh, just the best cheerleader I've ever seen, other than my oldest daughter also. And uh, she, is, you know, how many times have we gone to a football game and you, you hear the cheerleaders and why they're there is they're there to help encourage the crowd and get people interactive and they're there to keep the football team engaged and motivated in those times where they're not giving up. And I, I would like to ask you, who is cheering for you or, or, or what cheerleaders have you surrounded yourself with that in those times where you might be out of a little bit of energy or you're feeling a little bit drained that are going to cheer you on that believe in you who've got your best interest at mind and and where do you go to get that and and then the other one is what no matter what these cheerleaders are telling us or encouraging us to do what are you telling yourself because first and foremost you have to be your own biggest cheerleader. It, it is, you're able to do whatever you believe that you can do. And so if going out the door, you're saying you're not gonna do this and you still have all these people around you telling you that you can, if inside your own mind, you're thinking you're not gonna be able to do it, guess what? You're not gonna do it. I remember seeing a video once and it showed this frog, a uh, frog that had jumped into a pretty deep hole and, and the frog, uh, you know, everybody up top, it was a really super deep hole and everybody up top, up top is looking down and, and telling the frog, oh, you're never going to get out. It's going to be impossible. You're going to die there. You're going to blah, blah, blah. Well, what they didn't know is that the frog was deaf and couldn't hear a word that they said, but it looked like from everybody looking over and looking down, it looked like everybody was encouraging this frog and the frog believed it. And before you know it, the frog did the impossible. So what I want to do is I want to encourage you to do the impossible. I want you to take take a look around and, and think about all those things that you've wanted to do and maybe you haven't done. A few years ago, I did the high V triathlon and I had never done anything like that. My extent of swimming to that point was between two boats with a swim diaper and usually an adult beverage in my hand. That was my swimming experience. And, and there was a great motivation behind it that made me want to do this. And it was amazing how many people I shared this with who became my cheerleaders. And there were a few people along the way who became my skeptics. And the beautiful thing about a skeptic is it sure did make me appreciate that day when I finished a lot more because I proved him wrong. And when I came across that final, that, that finish line, the shoes, they were all filled and all the people were cheering for you. I remember hearing my baby's voices in the stand. I could pick them out through all that noise. I heard my children there. And even, even my children don't underestimate the power of a child and the impact that they can have because my children cheering me on and believing in me meant more to me than anybody, anybody in the world could say. So today what I'm encouraging you to do is find out who are your cheerleaders, become your biggest cheerleader yourself and surround yourself with them. And if you see somebody trying to do the impossible, become their cheerleader. Let them know that it's possible because you know in the end, we're all powerful, we're all connected. You need to go love somebody. Talk to you later.